is all right now okay so audio visual everything all right now okay so can we start so <clears throat> in last class we discussed up to sub aerial modification of a stem is it all right clear sub aerial modification of a stem we have discussed so in today class we are starting with which one aerial modification of stem and why these aerial modifications are there what is the purpose of these aerial modification so so many different purpose are there first purpose i am writing first purpose i am writing for climbing for climbing or you can say support first modification i am writing for climbing or support so you just have a look suppose that this is a leaf and this is a stem and here it is what basically axil axillary bud what is this axillary bud so what happen in case of a guard in guards i already told about guards in the last class it uh, include cucumber pumpkin watermelon in guards what happen these axillary bud become slender and a spirally arranged like this and this structure is called which one tendril these structure is called tendril understanding the idea or not clear in the mind so this tendril is what basically it is it derive from which one axillary bud axillary bud form the tendril which help in which help in climbing is it clear in the mind or not so in guards as i told it include which one cucumber pumpkin and watermelon ncert also wrote can grape vine also tendril is present and which tendril is there a stem tendril is there it is also which tendril is there stem tendril is there stem tendril is present and this tendril help in climbing now if you talk about grape vine in actual here terminal bud converted into tendril but ncert not wrote like this ncert only wrote which one axillary bud and in the same they wrote as a example which one guards as well as which one grape vine so according to ncert no differentiation is there so that is the reason i not wrote for which one grape vine ki which one modified into tendril is it clear in the mind so understanding the idea understanding the idea about how the stem modify these are going to form the branches na but beside of forming the branches it is converting into which one tendril 
and this tendril helping in climbing. I hope you understand it. Clear? Clear? Is it all right? In actual in grapevine, who is there? Terminal word is there. But NCRT not wrote that terminal word. NCRT simply wrote what? Auxiliary word, an example guard and grapevine. NCRT not specify in grapevine who is there. Terminal word is there. That picture clear or not? When you will read the NCRT, you will find it. It's done. Over. Can we move ahead? So one modification is over for climbing. Now second modification or aerial modification we are going to discuss. And the second aerial modification is thorn. So what happened? Example is which word? Citrus and bog and villia. Citrus and bougainvillea, what happened? Suppose that this is the spine, stem. Here it is the node. From node who is arising? Leaves are arising. And then the axil who is there? Axillary word is there. These axillary word is there. Now these axillary word become pointed. Stout and woody. Getting the thing? It is called which one? Thor. So purpose of this modification is what? Purpose is what? For protection. For protection from grazing animal. Animal. Understanding the idea or not? So this thorn is there. It is a pointed thorn is there. It is woody. A stout structure is there. So what they are doing, they are performing the purpose of protection. Because of presence of the thorn, who is not feeding this plant? Grazing animal, not grazing it. Because otherwise what happens? When they eat their leaf, who will enter? There is a possibility, na? thorn will going to enter their buccal cavity and it tear it. Understanding the idea? Clear in the mind? Is it all right? Understand? So this is what basically thorn which is present in which one? Citrus and Bougainvillea. Is it clear in the mind? Now we are going to deal about the another modification. Give your attention. <clears throat> now third modification I am going to deal about for storage of food. For storage of food. Third modification. And beautiful example is Beautiful example is, sorry, storage of food we already discussed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That storage we will talk about in which one? Leaf. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Huh. So third modification we are going to deal is for photosynthesis. For photosynthesis. For photosynthesis. So actually what's happened? Example I'm writing in Aponsia, in Euphorbia, in Cactus. What happened? In these all leaves modified into a spine. Leaf modified into spine. So actually main function of leaf is what? Photosynthesis. And whose function is photosynthesis? They modified into which one? Spine. Why they modified into a spine? For which purpose? So for two possible purpose. One purpose is defense. And another purpose is reduce water loss. Reduce water loss because they have which kind of adaptation these plant have zero fatigue adaptation zero fatigue adaptation they grow in such area their water scarcity is there what the idea these are zero fatigue plant so what happened 
to reduce water loss, leaf modified into which one? Stem. Sorry, leaf has modified into which one? Spine. Leaf modified into spine. Now question arises, ki if leaf modified into spine, who will do the work of leaf? So in that case, these in Aponsia, these euphorbia, in these cactus, what happened? A stem become flat, thick, fleshy, and green, and called phylloclade. It is called phylloclade. And why this phylloclade form? What is the purpose? For photosynthesis. For which purpose? Photosynthesis. So phylloclade is a modification of stem for which purpose? Process of photosynthesis. I am drawing a diagram here. You just try to understand. Suppose that this is a spine. This is a spine. Who is moving uh, modified into spine? Leaf is modified into spine. Na? So wherever leaf is arising, wherever leaf is arising, compulsorily who is present? Nodes is present. Are you getting the idea or not? Compulsorily, wherever leaf is there, wherever spine is there, who is there? Node is there because you know leaf arises from which one? Node. And between two nodes, who is there? Internode is there. Between two node, who is there? Internode is there. So this is the leaf converted into which one? Spine. And if you talk about these part are photosynthetic green color. These are what basically? Photosynthetic green color stem. It is called phylloclade. So if someone asks a question, phylloclade is a modified stem, you have to write. And these modification for which purpose? For photosynthesis. And here look, leaves are, here spine, na? spine is a modified leaf. So, what we are finding ki in case of Aponsia, Euphorbia, Cactus, both leaf and stem modified. Both leaf and stem modified. So if they are asking, ki phylloclade is a modification of stem present in Euphorbia, Cactus, and which one? Aponsia. And spine is a modification of leaf present in the same. Purpose of phylloclade is what? Photosynthesis. And purpose of a spine is what? Defense and protect the loss of water. So it is a beautiful example where who is showing modification? Both stem and leaf are showing the modification. Getting the idea or not? It is a beautiful example where both stem and leaf are showing the modification. Which one? Don't confuse here. Cactus, in cactus who is present? Modified leaf also, modified stem also. A stem get modified for which purpose? Photosynthesis called phylloclade and leaf get modified for which purpose? Reduce water loss and defense. Understanding the idea or not? Now NCRT wrote about, ki, if we talk about the phylloclade structure, which kind of structure say present in euphorbia and which one is present in oponsia? Pin your answer. I just want to check how many of you are reading the test book very properly. Aponsia and euphorbia, what is the structure or shape of the phylloclade? Shape of the phylloclade. Aponsia euphorbia, that is written in the line of NCRT. Cylindrical in which one? Phylloclade is cylindrical in which one? Cylindrical in? Two different answer is coming by a student. Cylindrical in Aponsia and flat in which one? 
flat in which one? Flat, flat. Flat in euphorbia. You go, go through the line of NCERT. Two type of answer coming by the student. See how much you are confusing. How much you are confusing. Open your NCRT and give the open book answer. Someone writing cylindrical in euphorbia. Someone writing cylindrical in aponsia. Two type of. See how can, can many type of overlapping coming in your answer. I am waiting for the answer. I am reading. Someone writing cylindrical in euphorbia. Someone writing flat in aponsia and cylindrical in euphorbia. Cylindrical in euphorbia. Flat in aponsia. Aponsia is one writing. Aponsia is cylindrical. Euphorbia is fat, flat. See how much confusion is there. So these small, 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 small mistake you have to rectify. These small one you have to rectify. Understanding the idea? Picture came, right? I am giving you opportunity once again. You fix your problem. Just a minute. I just want to drink water. So what final answer came? What final answer came? Flattened in? Say. What final answer came? Is it it? Cylindrical in euphoria. So don't overlap it. These overlapping occur only due to lack of revision. You just get confused. Which one is flattened, which one is cylindrical. Anyhow, now I am going to tell you about cladode and cladophyll. Cladode, oblique, cladophyll. That line is not in NCRT, but I am telling. Both are same thing. Example is asparagus. And another example is rascus. So what happened in the cladode and cladophyll in asparagus and rascus, just try to understand. This is the main stem. This is the main stem. Suppose that I am making it is main stem. And then it is the branches. Here who is there? Nodes are there. Nodes are there in the branches also. These are the nodes. So in branches, what happened? From the node, one internode long. How many internode long? One internode lo long, green, flacy, photosynthetic a structure is there. So it is from the node, it is also arising a branches. So branches, How many, which branches? One internode long branches. Long 
branches become green fleshy and photosynthetic and this structure this structure is called cladode or cladophyll now you can ask a question then what is the difference between cladode and phylloclade i am writing So phylloclade I am writing here and here I am writing cladode. What is the difference? So phylloclade or cladode, one line of answer you can write about cladode. One internode branches, one internode branched. Phyloclade is called cladode. Call cladode. What is the difference between phyloclade and cladode? I am drawing a phyloclade here. Here it is what? Nodes. So all part is green. Many nodes and the, the stem have many nodes and internode. Many nodes and internode become green in the case of phyloclade. Here in the case of cladode, how many? Only one internode long part become green. Understanding the idea or not? Here many nodes are there, so many internode also there, now all become green. So here what happening? Many internode become green. And here how many internode become green? Only one internode become green. So that is the difference between cladode and phyloclade. You got the idea about the difference in cladode and phyloclade or not? In asparagus, root modification is also there. In asparagus, root modification is also there. In asparagus, stem modification is also there. You write it. In asparagus, root modify which root adventitious root getting the things or not adventitious root fibrous root is a kind of which one adventitious root adventitious root modified root modified for food storage for food storage and this is called which one? Anybody can tell such kind of root is called in asparagus. Which kind of root is there? Fasciculated root. So fasciculated root is present in asparagus and these modify to store food. Got the idea? So in asparagus, who is modified? Root is modified for food storage and stem. One internode modify for which purpose? Photosynthesis. Picture came or not came? So in asparagus, there is a modification in root also or stem also. Clear? Picture came. In asparagus, who is modifying? Root also modifying, stem also modifying. Root for food storage. A stem, one internode long branch for photosynthesis. Entire not, entire stem not going to modify. One internode long branch going to modify it for which one? Photosynthesis. That happened in asparagus. And that one internode structure is called which one? That internode long structure is called which one? Cladode or cladophyll. So cladode and cladophyll also present in which one? Asparagus also, rascus also. Clear in the mind? Is it all right? So you got the idea about the asparagus, confusion will come. In asparagus, who is modifying? Root also, stem also. Root for food storage. What are the name of the root? Fasciculated root. NCRT simply draw the diagram of the asparagus in root. Which kind of root is there? Fasciculated root. 
it is a modified fibrous or adventitious root. Now, here what we are finding? Cladode is also present in the asparagus. It is one internode long. Clear in the mind? So you got about these modifications. Is it all right? So which modification we have seen? We have seen which, which modification in a stem. We have seen the modification in a stem for which purpose? Climbing purpose, protection purpose, and protecting from which one? And photosynthesis purpose. So modification of a stem is over. Anything is remaining in stem modification? All done? Bulbil is different thing, I will tell you. That is what happened. Floral bird is going for storing the which one? Photosynthesis for food storage. Right. Now give your attention. Now we are going to talk about stem modification over. So we are going to talk about leaves. So what is leaf? It is flat, flattened, lateral, outgrowth, outgrowth, arise from node of stem and branches. So what is leaf basically? Leaf is what basically? Tell me, it is a flattened structure, lateral outgrowth arise from node of the stem and branches. Usually green in color. Mostly which color leaf is there? Green in color. And when green in color, main function is what? Photosynthesis. Main function is what? Photosynthesis. Main function is photosynthesis. So it is a green flattened lateral outgrowth arise from node of the stem and branches. Usually it is green in color and associated with which is of? Associated with photosynthesis work. Got the idea? Now we are moving ahead. Right? Have a look here. So can I write a line? Leaves arise from Sam. Sam means which one? Suit apical meristem. Leaf arise from which one? Suit apical meristem. Getting the idea or not? Leaf arise from which one? Suit apical meristem. Now give your attention. Now we are going to talk about the structure of a leaf. A structure of a leaf. So what are the typical structure of a leaf we are going to draw here? Just have a look. This is a stem. This is node. From the node, lateral flattened outgrowth is coming out. And these structure is called what basically leaf. These structure is called what basically leaf. So in leaf, how many part we are finding? We are finding three part. The part of the leaf who attached with the stem is called leaf base. And the expanded blade-like structure is called lamina. Or it is also called leaf blade. Leaf blade. The part, stalk-like structure, who are connecting the leaf base and lamina is called petiole. It is called which one? 
PTO. Understanding the idea. Technical term for leaf base is hypopodium. For PTO leaf, mesopodium. And for lamina is apipodium. These are the technical terms we are using for which one? Leaf base hypopodium, mesopodium petiole, lamina which one? Apipodium. Now you will find in the base of the leaf two small leaf like structure may arise. It is not compulsorily present, but may present. And this structure is called stipules. So it is not a compulsory structure. In leaf, these stipules may present, may absent. And what is the function performed by these stipules? Protect leaf primordium. Protect leaf primordium. This is the function of the stipules. Got the idea? Now we are coming on the leaf base. And here in angle, in axial, always which word is there? Axillary word is there. Axillary word is there. That is compulsorily present between the stem and leaf, axial, who is present? Compulsorily always, axillary word is present. It is not there, oh, axillary word is there or not there. Compulsorily who is present? Axillary word is present. Near the leaf base and the axial, and the in between the angle of which one? Axial of which one? Stem and leaf, always who is present? Axillary word is present. That is a compulsory structure. Now I am coming on leaf base. So when you read your test book, NCRT wrote two types of leaf base is there. Base is that part of leaf who attach with which one? Stem. Two type of leaf base is there. One is pulvinous leaf base. And another is seedary leaf base. So pulvinous leaf base is also called swollen leaf base. Suppose that I am drawing a pulvinous leaf base structure. Suppose that this is a stem and this is a leaf. So you will find this leaf base is swollen like this. This is leaf base. And it is which type of leaf base? Pulvinous leaf base. Getting the idea or not? This is pulvinous leaf base. So, where this pulvinous leaf base is present, NCRT wrote example is which one? In leguminous plant. Leguminous plant. Many other plants are there where it is present, but I don't want to confuse you by giving this example. I don't want to unnecessarily giving you, want to give you a load of a lot of example. Otherwise, it is present in which one? Mimosa pudica, touch me not plant. Getting the things or not? It is present in mango. It is present in banyan. But I am not trying to confuse you. I told in the beginning also, be an example centric to NCRT. No need to increase your example knowledge. Simply, you are preparing for need. Be very centric for the test book example. And that is the reason I am not writing an example which one? Mimosa pudica, mango, banyan. When you see the mango leaf also, you will find pulvinous leaf base. Why I told this? Because you will easily find in your surrounding mango leaf. Na? So you will find the leaf base is pulvinous in mango. Understanding the idea, picture in the, came in the mind or not. But I am talking about NCERT example, and that is which one? Leguminous plant. So leaf base is which one? Pulvinous. Now if we talk about in case of a monocot, 
in monocot c3 leaf base is present c third there in monocot suppose that what happened in monocot suppose that this is the stem so how the leaf base is going to arrange leaf base is going to make a sheath it is partially or totally cover the which one a stem so seedary leaf base is there seedary leaf base is there cover that cover a stem partially or totally you have seen the leaf base in grasses they are covering the stem like this you have seen the leaf base in banana they are not attaching like this it is attaching like in pulvinus covering like this the stem that is called which kind of leaf base seedary leaf base they are making a seed an example of this particular one is which one example is example is monocot so you got the idea about the leaf base two type of leaf base we are finding one is pulvinous leaf base another making a seed seed formation covering like this occur in monocot swollen leaf base attached to the stem like this in which one pulvinous leaf base so there are two type of leaf base we have seen now we are going to talk about petiole petiole so petiole is what stalk like a structure a stalk like a structure which connect which connect which one leaf base and lamina leaf base and leaf blade what is the function performed by the petiole what is the function performed by the petiole anybody can tell me it help in fluttering of lamina if it is there who will flutter like this it is the base na it is petiole na so it is who is fluttering like this this is lamina lamina is fluttering like this so this fluttering help in which one cooling effect this fluttering of the lamina helping in which one cooling effect and it also what happen remove the <coughs> air from that particular local area and new air coming from there so fluttering action done by so fluttering help in which one for cooling effect and aeration and aeration understanding the idea so these petiole is associated with which one fluttering of the which one fluttering of the which one fluttering of lamina and of course one student also writing it is exposing the which one lamina toward the light more na because it is a stalk so what happen who will bell expose with the help of petiole lamina get bell expose with the help of petiole understanding the idea so lamina also over now we are going to no, sorry petiole also over now we are going to talk about which one now we are going to talk about lamina ap podium so see in lamina what i told the overall structure who are flattened structure is called lamina or leaf blade it is also called ap podium this edge is called margin and this part is called leaf apex this part is called leaf apex you will find there is a prominent rib like structure are there and that prominent rib like structure present here is called which one mid rib this prominent rib like structure is called mid rib and from mid rib who is arising 
veins and veinlets are arising. So these structure who is arising from the midrib is called vein and from veins also who is arising? Bifurcation coming that is called what? Veinlet. So these veinlet making it reticular in appearance. So what these midrib vein and veinlet are doing? They are performing two important job. One important job, these vein, midrib, veinlet is doing what basically? It contain, it contain vascular tissue. Vascular tissue. And when it contains the vascular tissue, means xylem and phloem, responsible for responsible for conduction of conduction of water, mineral, and food. And you look here, this, this lamina most of the part you are finding is papery. So who is giving the structural support? Who is giving the skeletal or structural support? So they are giving a structural support to whom also? Lamina. Getting the things or not? So they provide structural support also. So they are responsible for two different jobs. One is giving a shape or a structure because these are the rigid structure. Na? So they are holding the paper like a structure. Otherwise, what happened? Leaf going to bend. It is going to roll easily. It is going to fold easily. So who is preventing them from folding? Who is keeping them expanded? These vein, veinlet and lamina are also keeping them expanded and they are helping to transport of which one? Water mineral and which one food understanding the idea clear in the mind so this is the structure of which one epipodium or lamina it is also called leaf blade it is the expanded part of the leaf it have a midrib vein and which one veinlet these are responsible for which one these midrib vein and veinlet are responsible for transport of water mineral and food and it also keep the leaf surface leaf lamina expanded, provide them a structural support. Understanding the idea or not? So this is about which one? A structure of a leaf. Understanding the idea? Who is over? A structure of a leaf is over. Clarity came in the mind? Is it done? Now we are going to talk about further part about the leaf. How much time is there? I think one, two things we can see. Right. So structure is over. Now I just want to say you one thing. Some leaf is like this. Some leaf is like this. So so many different type of leaf is there. Now some leaf is like this. So there are so many different type of leaves are there that is based on the which one? Lamina. Some one have which one? A smooth lamina. Some one have a rough lamina. It is incision present in the lamina. And that is the reason NCRT wrote there are so many different type of leaves are there based on which one? Incision of the lamina, based on shape of the lamina, based on shape of the leaf apex. These leaf apex, you will also find, somewhere you will find leaf apex is somehow oval. Somewhere you will find these leaf apex is like this. Getting the things. So, so many different type of leaves are present based on which one? The shape of the lamina, shape of the which one? Leaf apex. Is it clear in the mind or not? So, so many different variety of leaves are there. Clarity came in the mind. Is it all right? So, next class is what? 
is your break or uh, let me check the timetable either your break is there or class is there accordingly i will decide to teach something or stop teaching Next is break. So at least let me deal about venation. So we are going to talk about venations of the leaf. What is venation? Arrangement of veins and venlet is called venation. If you talk about venation, there are two types of venation. And I am trying to be NCRT centric. Otherwise, we can go for so much big flow chart in venation. But this is not required. Be very centric to the test book. Question not going to ask. One is which one? Reticulate venation. Reticulate venation. And another one is which one? Parallel venation. And reticulate venation example is which one? Dicot. And parallel venation, most dicot better to write. Because exceptions are also there. In some monocot also reticulate venation is there. No need to mug up the exception. No one will ask which monocot have reticulate venation. That time is over. Got the idea? So now parallel venation example is what? Most, most monocot. Here now examiner asks which kind of question? They will give you the statement. They will not ask the exception, but they will give you the statement. In all monocot, parallel venation is occur. Statement true or false? Tell me. Statement true or false? False. In all re dicot, reticulate venation occur. A statement also become which one? False. Got the idea or not? Clarity came in the mind or not? Now such type of question they will ask and try to confuse you. Right? So what happened in the case of reticulate venation? You will find a network formation occur in the case of reticulate venation. Suppose that this is a leaf. And this is the midrib. So who is there? This is vein. This is vein. This is vein. Vein. It is midrib. Now what happened? From veins who is arising? Veinlets are arising. These veinlets are arising and these veinlets who are arising is forming a network. It is forming a reticulum. A network like a structure formed or not formed? They are forming a network. So many veinlets are arising. So who is present here? Veinlets are present here. And veinlet form a reticulum or network. When you see a people leaf, you plug a people leaf, Keep in your room or book for two, three, four months. You will find all green part become non-green part. All cuticulization is there that going to lost. You will find there is a pluth like, like on a sieve like, network like a structure forming in the leaf. Because when all chlorophyll go, all cuticulization go, you will find what? There is a network formation occur. Understanding the idea. So these network formation occur in dicot. And who is forming this network? Veinlet is forming a network. Who is forming a network? Veinlet is forming a network. Understanding the idea or not? Clear in the mind? Clarity came or not? Vein not form the network. Who is forming the network? Veinlet is forming in the network. So this is called network like a structure form in the dicot. Now in parallel venation in monocot, what we are finding? In monocot, we are finding, suppose that this is a monocot leaf. 
Okay. If I am making leaf, let me make green color. So it is looking somehow more aesthetic. So look here, this is a monocot leaf. Suppose that it is a bunion leaf. Understanding the idea or not? It is a bunion leaf. So leaf base is what? Seedry. Getting the things or not? And what you are finding, here such kind of condition we are finding. Now you tell me, I am giving you the numbering. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These all are vein. All are forming a reticulum and all are parallelly present. If I am going to elongating this, elongating this, anywhere they will match? Not match. Now who is absent here? Why it is parallel? Who is absent here? Why reticulum is not there? Because who is absent? Who is absent? Veinlets is not there. Who is not there? Veinlets is not there. Understanding the idea due to that reason, who is not forming? Due to that reason, who is not forming? Reticulum is not forming. Understanding the idea, you got the parallel and reticulate venation. Picture came. Now many type is there. Many type is there, but that typification I am not going to teach you. Convergent, divergent, parallel convergent, parallel divergent. Getting the things or not? Now one midrib is there, unicostate, more than one midribs are there, multicostate, many bifurcation is there. If you want to go in detail, I think half hour, 45 minutes going to talk about that. And now it is not a requirement. So I'm not going to teach that. Ki how many different type of parallel is there? Otherwise, what we can say? This is reticulate. It is unicostate, multicostate, convergent, divergent. Arrange it. Either veins merging like this or diverging like this. So these arrangements are not required now. It is not the need of the exam now. So we are not going to discuss. So when I send over, now I'm giving a basic idea about which one? Phylotaxy. Phylotaxy of the leaf. So phylotaxy is what basically? Phylotaxy is arrangement of leaf. Arrangement of leaves is called phylotaxy. And NCRT wrote three types of arrangement. One is which one? Alternate. Another is written opposite. Then another is written, which one? World. Understanding the idea or not? So now just try to understand, here it is a stem and this is the node. Now from the stem node, when only one leaf is arising, here it is called which one? Alternate phylotaxy. Now see, at your standard, how the life will become easy. When I was a student, we have studied many types of alternate based on angle between the leaf. Based on angle between the leaf. Two leaf, two successive leaf are present on how many degree angle. Now it is not your cup of tea. Getting the thing? Simply, what is the angle between these two? 180 degree angle is there. Only one thing is given in which one? Alternate phylotaxy, na? From the stem, one in this direction, another is another direction. So what is the angle? What is the angle? Tell me, 180 degree angle is there. So from one leaf, what happened? From one node, one leaf is arising. Such kind of phylotaxy is called which one? Alternate phylotaxy. What is the arrangement, example of alternate phylotaxy? What is the arrangement of the alternate phylotaxy? Tell me. Example. Example. Example is 
Only one example you have written. Example is China rose, mustard, sunflower. In these you will find which one? Alternate phyllotaxy. Now if we talk about opposite phyllotaxy, what NCRT say? This is the node. And from each node, two leaves are arising. In opposite direction. Getting the idea? It is called like opposite phyllotaxy. It is also of two type. It is also of two type, but we are not going to talk. One is which one? Superpose, another is Dacuset. Ki either leaf is arranging, suppose that this is the node, leaf is here and here. And this is upper node, leaf is here and here. So up, lower and upper node, what happened? 90 degree angle will come. Getting the things? So when 90 degree angle come, it is called which one? Sup, Dacuset. And when this, this one is like this, it is called which one? Superpose. One leaf above the another leaf. Getting the thing. So we are not going simply, I'm going to talk about it is opposite. It is opposite. An example of the opposite is which one? Guava. And another is which one? Calotropis. Calotropis. Guava and Calotropis. Now third type of phyllotaxy we are going to deal. Just according to NCRT only. This is the node. From each node, many leaves are arising. From each node, many leaves are arising. You just have a look. That is called world phyllotaxy. World phyllotaxy. And what is the example of world phyllotaxy? You feel free and happy when that thing is always in your mind. What is the example of the world phyllotaxy? Alstonia. Very good. Alstonia. Understanding the idea? Alstonia is the example of which one? World phyllotaxy. Is it clear? So up to here I am teaching. So only things which remain is which one? Modification of type of leaf and modification of leaf and in floor sense. That things we will finish in the which class? Next class. Type of leaf, modification of leaf and in floor sense we will discuss in next class. So here, no, not much, Other, uh, no need to unnecessary confuse to say about in opposite Dacuset and super, superpose. Clear? Now have a look here. I am sharing you the QR code. This is the QR code. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day to all of you.